Hello and welcome to Military Combat Network. In today's video, I'm going to give you a small office tour. In the past, people have been asking me how I make my videos, you know, and to show in my office. Obviously, I've moved three times in the last six months. I'm finally settled into an office. It's 50% done. Still some painting to do, some upgrades, i.e. get a new microphone uh, because my microphone currently is terrible and I need some lighting because it's really dark when, I'm, when I do my reaction videos. But for the people that are new to the channel, consider subscribing. My name is Drakey. I serve in the British Army, currently in my ninth year. Um, okay, less waffling, let's get into this office tour. Okay then, as I said, I'm going to give you a little office tour. So the first thing you've got is a building wardrobe, because in military quarters, you've always got building wardrobes in bedrooms. So... Unfortunately, I'm left with a wardrobe, but it's got a lot of my spare clothes in and holding games and stuff. Okay, next to it, we've got my desk then. That's my little setup. I mean, the equipment hasn't changed in years, apart from the keyboard and mouse. So, one thing I'm going to upgrade ASAP is the microphone. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys noticed in the last few reaction videos, the audio quality is not good. Uh, it really doesn't do my videos any justice. So I'm going to upgrade that as soon as I've got some spare cash. I'm going to get the Rode mic, which is more professional and a better sounding quality mic. So this is going in bin because that's it's no good for anyone. Laptop then. It's a gaming laptop by Dell. Again, no, nothing to brag about. I will upgrade at some point with a you know, proper computer. Uh, because again, this, this laptop is quite old now and it gives me a lot of issues when I'm playing or make videos. So the program I use then to make videos, i.e. reaction videos, is a program called OBS. And it's hooked up to my DLSR camera. And then I've, I'm watching on uh, the videos on my 29 inch uh, monitor which is by LG uh, the keyboard is a mechanical one with a gaming mouse by Razer um, I really like Razer products and the, I used the Razer keyboard from 2014 and, and the mouse from 2014 all the way up to 2020 so the mouse and keyboard lasted me 6 years and then for some reason they both broke near enough at the same time. So I just upgraded them two things. Really happy with that. On the wall then we've got the first prototype of the Military Combat Network flag. Which is folded over so it's not as long as it actually is. Um, that's the original Military Combat Network logo which has been up from pretty much day one. Well... Probably in the first year I've made this. So I drew this up and then I paid some designer to turn it into a logo. And then obviously I had it copyrighted into my name. On your right, you've got a lot of flashes. Um, you know, the Italian one, I've, I've traded a lot of these things, you know, with other soldiers. When I've been away on NATO exercises and some of them have been sent in. So I've traded that way a German soldier, Italian soldier and that way an Italian soldier. That's my old uh, flash from my last place. Uh, that's my old brigade flash, etc, etc. Chair, nothing to brag about. Like I said, office is not completely finished. I still got to finish painting it. And soon, because of the audio and that, I'm going to fill this whole corner with, with like um, acoustic panels. So I'm going to have really good sound. Um, photos, which I haven't put up on a wall yet. I mean, I've got loads and loads of photos. The one, one thing about the British Army is you end up with loads and loads of photos. So the only photo I've actually got up is from two, 2013 after I've done uh, basic training. I joined in 2012, started basic training in 2013. So I've had quite a wait, about six months before I actually went into basic training. Down here, we've got my uh, Vertus body armor. You know, I've just been keeping it in office, all this stuff. So that's my body armor. I've got a day sack there. I need to sort the garage out. Next to it, we've got my little shelving unit like a bookshelf uh, that's that's my vertus helmet got a fake plant 
Then we've got this box that's got my drone in it, uh, loads of video equipment, got an old ammunition tin with all my knives. I've got a massive knife, knife co collection. And then we've got my accommodation coin from the commanding officer for excellence uh, last year. I actually got this. Royal Lancers, Queen Elizabeth's own commanding officer's commendation is awarded to Lance Corporal Drake. So I got that. Um, got got my old uh, boxing medal. I did a uh, for five years. I did MMA and I did quite a bit of boxing as well. Bit of uh, old casings covered that, and then like I said, I covered this a minute ago. You know, in regards to photos. Uh, so in the military, you get photos all the time, but because of the current climate. We weren't able to do photos like that, you know, standing next to each other like them photos. So what the regiment did, they got a photo of everyone and then just made that. I am um, up, up there. Yeah, a few um, files. Got a lot of games in here. This I need to still frame. We've got the Oath of Allegiance here. It's actually fading. It was in the garage and it got a little bit damp. So my name started coming off it. But yeah, that's what you used to get when you joined the British Army, the Oath of Allegiance. Um, under here, guys, if you remember, I still got my tarantula. What I got, it's a Mexican retinue. It's got massive. Okay, then, like I said, I do a lot of gaming in that. So I've got roughly 200 PlayStation 4 games, which I still need to get a bookshelf for and put up. So we've got, yeah, got some good games here. Some really good games. I do, like I said, I do a lot of gaming. Yeah, I've got loads. Um, here we've got the original Nintendo 64 complete in box games. Got Zelda there, got F1 Racing, got GoldenEye. These are all original games complete in box, by the way, so they cost a lot of money. I used to collect them a lot. Got Mario 64 there. Uh, we've got all the accessories in the original boxes with box protectors. Got literally... Yeah, it's some serious money there, guys. Original controller and it's original box with original paperwork. For all those people that know, uh, that, that know anything about retro games, they know how much um, time and effort goes into collecting this sort of stuff. A little bit dark now with camera, but there you've got a immaculate N64 box in its original box with all the original paperwork and that worth quite a bit of money. Uh, here we've got my Game Boy Advance collection, original game Game Boy Advance again in a box protector. Got Gremlins. I've got loads of games. My favourite game of all time, Zelda: Link to the Past. Got uh, Mario, Super Mario, got all the games. Then we've got the Nintendo uh, GameCube. Again, all original, original boxed up stuff. Um, got Paper Mario, PAL version, complete. Costs around 140 quid just for this one game. Then we've got Metal Gear Solid, roughly 70 quid, complete in box. Zelda. Wind Waker, around 70 quid. I mean, these uh, the collection, what I've got in regards to games and that, and I've been collecting for a lot of years, we're talking three grand, easy. So I'll show you some more of my collection. Yeah, so I do collect a lot. I do a lot of gaming, you know, I have done from, from being a little kid. One of my favourite games, World of Warcraft. Got all the original. I've been playing that game 16 years now, on and off. Got a ton of N64 Unbox games. Uh, so, um, Super Nintendo games. Got original Nintendo games. I've got the Nintendo console some, somewhere as well. Yeah, I've got... Got lots of Super Nintendo games boxed, original, complete in box, PlayStation 4. Oh yeah, that's pretty nifty. 
That is the Super Nintendo Classic Mini that's downstairs hooked up on the big TV in the living room. So when me and the missus want to play a bit of Super Nintendo, we do that. Here we've got uh, an original Super Nintendo and all the accessories. Some more GameCube, um, Game Boy Advance games. And I, like I said, I've um, just moved into this place really, so... I've still got an uh, old Nintendo there, loads of military kit, military kit all over the place. Boxes that need sorting out and going into the garage. And that is it, guys. Okay, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know anything about the British Army, ask me down below in the comment section. I will try and reply. Um, if you want to see more of this type of content in between reactions, let me know. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, you know, give it a thumbs up. It does help. I really appreciate that. But yeah, if you want to see some older content as well, I've got about four or five hundred videos what I can re upload, i.e. how a British soldier lives in Z-type accommodation, you know, uh, and a lot of informative videos for people looking, you know, especially young people looking to join the British Army. Anyway, enough waffling. I'll see you in the next video, which will be obviously a reaction video. Take care, guys.